I wanted to I wanted to share something really cool with you. Wayne Thibault's painting Pie Counter from 1963. And this is it. <laughs> there it is. So after looking at all of the paintings in art history and all of the detail possible in images of food, you might be saying to yourself, this one's really odd. I could be saying it's minimalist, but it's representational, meaning it represents real things, but it's also slightly abstract in its geometricness and its rhythm. And the more you look at Wayne Thibault's paintings of something mundane like pies, and it's not the Madonna and Child or something, you start noticing that these items really do carry a mass and a weight to them. It really does look like there's a line of pies and cakes and a lemon meringue and, let's see, a pumpkin pie and maybe a chocolate cream pie, and then this might be chocolate cake with white frosting. And then if you look more closely, you might notice the brush strokes, which remember in the French academic period were verboten. You are not supposed to see brush strokes on paintings, but after Impressionism, starting really with the 1860s, brush strokes were now part of the game. And Wayne Thibault is obviously working in this sort of mindset because it actually gives these pieces of cakes and pies more mass. It's almost like the, the paint is icing or frosting and it makes it more real. And then you might say this is a total ripoff. There's not even a background. But if you look at the date, it's 1963. And you have to remember that Wayne Thibault would have been in his 20s when he painted this. And he was born of the World War II generation, where there was actually food rationing. And now in the 50s and the 1960s, food was glorious and available. And you could take this piece of pie here, and if you ate that one, you could come back and get the identical one right behind it. And don't worry, there's another one right behind it, and behind it, and behind it. The mechanization of food, the plenty of post-war America was really something to behold. And then also just the beauty of how perfect these slices are. And look at the electric bright color of these lemon meringues. You know how if you've ever really seen one, they kind of glow? These are glowing. These are fabulous. And then you look at a Dutch still life. So again, this is an image of food, but it is in a different context. Um, before, during, and after the Renaissance, if the Dutch are showing you a table laden with food, fruit, and flowers, what it really is is called a vanitas, or a memento mori. So it's reminding you that even though there is plenty and you can enjoy the finer things in life, music and food and jewels and things like that, that you have to be good at the same time because what happens to shellfish and overripe fruit and um, uh, bubbles and insects and little children? The children go old and they die. The insects also have a very short life and they die. Fruit ripens, over ripens, and rots. Um, and so what it is reminding you is that life is short and so you should really watch yourself and be as um, religiously right as you can because you always have to keep in mind memento mori, you remember your death, that you're, you're mortal. And so this is a big lesson in that you don't overindulge, you don't indulge all of your vices, because remember, everything turns, everything must turn. So even the great things go bad. But this is not what Wayne Thibault is saying with pie counter. This is not a slap on the wrist or a lesson 
in your human mortality or to behave yourself for the next life, it's almost joyful in the fact that there's just, there's more where that came from. And there's something so happy about his work. And if you get the chance to listen to him speak, he's a very jolly fellow. But he takes painting very seriously. This isn't a lark or something he's doing to be silly. He's deadly serious. But it's in such a gentle and lovely way. And I love that this image of food is pure pleasure. There's no hidden dragon hiding in the box that's going to bite you. It's just fun. And it's lovely. So I hope you like this as much as I do, because I just adore it.